born and raised in Smith Center, Kansas, and I was the youngest of the eight children. My father worked for the WPA, and then later he ended up owning an ice house where we would deliver ice to people's uh, home. When I was 11 and 12 years old, I was delivering uh, ice. I grew up uh, washing dishes and waiting tables. I loved the sports. We had a very good basketball team. We went to the state tournament, the first time Smith Center had ever made it to this. I ended up moving to Kansas City, living with my brother, and started selling Fuller brushes when I was 18 years old. I got a call from my high school coach, and he had been offered this job at Butler Community College. He offered me the scholarship, so I ended up going to back to school. As part of the scholarship, they got me a job. I was what they called a bottle washer. I could work as much as 39 hours a week. I could go to work at 3 or 4 in the morning and uh, get in my hours. I did that during school and played basketball. And in the summertime, I worked at the refinery. I would go to work there early in the morning, get off at noon, went to work at J.C. Penney's, uh, selling clothes at uh, 1 o'clock, get off there at 6 o'clock, and drove a taxi cab from 6 to midnight. When I graduated from Butler, I got offered the teaching and basketball coach. I lived in a 27-foot trailer with my wife and two kids, and I got $3,200 for teaching and $400 for coaching. I had to make more money. So I moved the trailer house and the family to Wichita. I ended up getting a job with this savings and loan company as a loan manager. We also wrote insurance on the cars that we financed, calling on insurance agents to get them to send their business to Service Auto Glass. In 1959, I went to work for Service Auto Glass, which later was known as Safe Light Auto Glass. There is no other place in the world that I could have done what I did here in America. 